What's up guys? This is Gradventure TV and today I want to show you the most necessary tuning for KTM Adventure 890 or 790 anyway they are pretty similar I have had the both this is the new one I have tried a road version of this bike and I also have KTM Adventure 890-2021 a lot of tuning was tested on those bikes so I want to show you mine the most uh, the most best tuning parts I've had at this bike so let's start from the bottom from the cover I've chose AXP cover because of lightweight because of size as you can see, it's pretty the same as upper side, so you don't increase the side sizes of the motor, so you still uh, stay the more uh, accuracy in movement. I've had previously this side uh, kind of shield, it's givey. Orange is up for up and the black for down it goes like here is black one and here is orange but it's so heavy and uh, makes this bike a lot uh, bigger that I decide to change it next tuning is uh, one finger clutch I just installed it and I want to say that the difference is really noticeable I can, I can, let me show you, I can do it even with my last finger, so it's pretty, pretty useful. This combination with this uh, short style clutch lever, as well as brake one, it goes super easy. I can feel the difference because here at this bike, it's the same bike, but for road. We installed same one finger clutch, but with basic stock levers. And the difference is also noticeable, but it's better than stock, stock all parts. So my suggestion is to buy both. It's not, it not, not cost a lot of money. It can, can consist only of three parts, one, two, three but you will you will feel the re, uh, difference so uh, next one is coverage of the chain style stair and the sensor of something i don't know full sensor maybe so this decision i've made first because of look second because of it, it can be more clean cleanable and durable while washing so i prefer to put it clean and, and stock one cover all all the sink after a few times you go on a road all the sinks will be you don't know the condition in which it will uh, became after a few times of road with this it's pretty transparent clear you can clean it you can see it uh, and also this part, chain stabili stabilization, stabilizer. Uh, in this version, it goes in aluminium and it's separate from the coverage, so you can change it in case of something. In the uh, stock version, this all goes as one part. And if the chain will broke, and uh, you will broke the coverage, you will need to buy this part. It's not pretty cheap uh, what else I have installed off-road filter inside let me show you like this Rottweiler twin air off-road filter it consists of three parts the stock one uh, only inside like here and here is like a cap in this version we have one 
extra filter at the upper side and two filters of rod like foam installed in the stock place so it works really good and tested it at three days rally race and can tell you that it really works that uh, the black plastic after the filter which uh, which combine like a, the air box actually so which uh, the place which comes from the air filter to the motor stays pretty clean you can try it with the finger and it will clean so this is must have this is really must have i've changed this bike because the previous one after first 10,000 kilometers uh, start to eat a lot of oil super lot so i like one liter per 1000 kilometers or something like that uh, when i came to ktm uh, because it was new, new bike and still in the warranty they said that uh, this is not guaranteed guarantee case because of uh, they found sand at the airbox and that's why this is pretty uh, strange I, I agree with you because this is like a rally version of road bike and it's and it, is it uh, says i don't know where like here ready to race there's a lot meaning it's uh, mentioning that this is really race bike for uh, off-road if you will go off-road just from the shop when you buy it uh, you will have same problem probably as i've had you will have with the paper stock filter you will have sand at the airbox and your bike won't be in the warranty and for sure with the time it will start to eat oil because uh, because of cylinders scratches on the cylinders so let's move out uh, i have uh, also extra bag here uh, moscow moto tank bag pretty nice bag i've tried a lot of them but this uh, i i like the most because of it goes here you need to put a rubber this is also necessary part because uh, you, you the metal the paint paint this is painting on the metal it will scratch by any tank uh, tank uh, back doesn't matter it's soft or not soft it, it moves a lot while you're riding of uh, road so this is also must have thing also i installed a uh, litio i don't want don't want to put this up but here I have lithium battery, not the exit heavy like a stock one, but super lightweight and with more uh, power. Like a stock stock one have 200 amperes for a start. This one battery has uh, 240 amperes for a start and and weight a lot lot uh, lighter. So this is not. Uh, must have maybe tuning but for me i, I feel the difference uh, in weight I, I want to have the, the most light bike for uh, adventure okay the most light adventure bike for uh, off-road as it possible of course we're not talking about those guys but from from adventure bike i think this is probably most light bike i've ever tried exhaust with uh, cutlass system so I, I ride it off-road i don't need cut uh, this goes into pieces uh, the the cut is also cutlass system is uh, arrow exhaust is also arrow pretty nice sound i think for every bike it must have every bike doesn't matter even uh, super lightweight bikes the tuning exhaust it's it's pleasure for your ears uh, mountings for a luggage i have two types of luggage well i well, when i drive road i prefer drive with uh, hard cases like this one because they are big easy opening easy put something inside or get something out super easy it uh, it didn't you can compare this to soft bags for off-road uh, in durability and usability 
So if you don't need security on uh, as you need on the front, this is the best cases I've ever, I've ever met. It goes with fast detached things, so it's only one turn and it, all the system you can put away if you don't need it. If you, for, for, for example, if you want to use only this one because it already can contain two helmets like this original with uh, this coverage uh, so usually I write only with this 40 liters uh, rear hard case but uh, when I go to shopping for example or traveling I put side cases as well and in, in total uh, it gave me about 80 liters of uh, volume uh, when you, I go off-road I put this in one minute because of fast mounting. I put it uh, out and put uh, Mos Moscow motors, or soft, uh, reckless, uh, I think revolver, it calls the version of the, those bags, revolver bags. So doesn't matter which one, but you need to have separate cases, one for road and one for off-road, in my opinion. Also, these seats are not the stock they are as you can see with wirings is because they are with heating so just from computer you can uh, set your uh, pilot front one uh, seat three type of uh, heating low middle and high and passenger has their own switch for uh, control heating for himself uh, talking about warming also I have uh, changed the um, grips they are also goes with uh, heating and also has three types three levels of heating the lowest middle and higher and also controlled from, from the computer I suggest to put cover screen screen cover for your uh, screen because a lot of dust, a lot of sand on the off-road. While you're washing, it will scratch for sure. So I, I changed this film about one, ti one time per three months. So it's better to change the screen, of course. <laughs> so don't, don't forget to put it. Also I have, uh, this is SP system for uh, phone mounting. I have uh, a case, as you can see here, this is original KTM SP phone case for iPhone. Every iPhone version uh, can have this case. So I have the latest one, 15 Pro Max, and uh, they also already manufactured the case for the latest iPhone. It goes with a new SP mount system, as you can see here. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably, it's round, like here. It uh, works better than previous because I had pre previous as well. This works better. I don't know how, but it uh, mount more hard. And this uh, original KTM mounting for GPS. This is like a adapter for SP. This part. This part is original GPS mounting for from KTM, and it this part made from rubber. So. It works like a damper, as, uh, like a suspension on uh, off road, and you don't need any more SP big rubber uh, stabilizer as it was previously because this one already goes fr from the stock with uh, made with rubber, and it actually works works well. So you will need to buy this one this uh, SP adapter and this uh, thing is uh, KTM GPS uh, thanks God this bike start to have USB Inst uh, not instead but additionally to simple socket car socket so you don't need the adapter anymore you can plug in your phone just on USB and uh, charge it so, oh, and the uh, back mirrors, it's also made for off-road, 
pretty good adjustable and anytime you can put it inside when you go off-road to avoid mirror to be broken this is a ram mount this is uh, adapters you can buy it anywhere on uh, ali or amazon and this is separate mirrors i don't remember the name but something like best mirrors or something like that super weird name but you can try to look it uh, by the form um, what else we have what else we have so the coverage is this part is uh, goes with AXP uh, I've ordered uh, fog lights from KTM original one they cost about 500 euro but I didn't receive it yet so I will make another one video this is the coverage for headlight super necessary thing like must, must have it cost 100 euro but uh, the headlight cost a lot more and you will scratch it for sure even if you know not going to off-road just even off-road even on the road you will scratch it so this is must have thing and it's as you can see pretty good installed with the original windscreen from the road version so this is adventure rally version it goes with super low front screen i don't like it even for a fraud i don't like it because they do nothing i prefer to go off road with this one it's pretty hard as you can see there there is no uh i don't know vibration it, it's real it works really good so this i take from the road version this is the stock stock uh, option for road version but unfortunately for adventure rally you don't get it with the bike you need to buy it separately it costs 100 euros not so lot but it's like for me it's must have because without this you you will feel, feel the pain <laughs> um, and when i go a long a long long trip just for road i put spoiler also uh, why, why i put it off when i go off road is because it make like visual line a little higher and in some cases it can be redundant maybe you don't need it i, I need i don't need it for sure for off-road but for road is this is really really pretty good thing the airflow starts to go more higher so you you, you don't feel any wind at all so this is also must have sink for the trips this is Givi for back, for rear, uh, hard case. So I, I, I guess that's pretty all. In generally, if I will remember something, I will make update. But for me, this is must have set up for, for this bike to be riding. I, I can't use it without any of the things. And uh, when I was, tra when I trade in my bike, I sell uh, previous bike which is broken motor uh, pay more uh, extra money and uh, get this bike I ask it to put all the tunings from the previous bike to this one and uh, because of front screen doesn't uh, match uh, the front the front screen from the previous model doesn't match a new new model they're pretty the same this is the main uh, difference between previous bike and this one it's the side fairings and the front sheet front screen uh, this was the it was pain to ride this bike for two weeks without proper big one screen without spoiler without uh, phone mount because uh, this part is also changed all, all the front is changed so i've been waiting about two weeks to get this mount and ride with super strange rubber Think like this, like you know, which you can buy for two bucks at every phone sh phone shop. So all this make the riding un un uncomfortable. Uh, the bikes is not cheap, so when you buy it, 
I, I suggest you to spend a few thousand more and get about 50 to 80 percent more satisfaction of riding this bike. It's my opinion. It was Great Adventure TV. Wish you good rides. See you next time. See ya.